to read aloud with Mrs. Owen. So, as you know, we've been learning a lot about story elements, but now we're on to something new. Say we're on to something new. Yes, friends, we are learning about character traits. And character traits are words that describe a character's personality. So, friends, today I'm going to be reading you a really, really cool story. And it's, one of, it's by one of my favorite children's authors, Kevin Hanks. This book is called Julius, the Baby of the World, okay? So friends, as I read this book, I am going to be paying close attention to see what character traits I notice about our main character, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Before Julius was born, Lily was the best big sister in the world. She gave him things, she told him secrets, she sang lullabies to him every night. What a nice big sister. After Julius was born, it was a different story. Lily took, took her things back. She pinched his tail. She yelled insulting comments into his crib. I am queen, said Lily, and I hate Julius. And friends, another thing that I really love about Kevin Hanks, if you go to the library and you get one of his books, he has these these cute little lines that the character says, says. He gives them like little lines, like comments, right? And she's saying here, these are mine. But her parents loved him. They kissed his wet pink nose. They admired his small black eyes and they stroked his sweet white fur. Lily thought his wet pink nose was slimy. She thought his black eyes were beady. And she thought his sweet white fur was not so sweet, especially when he needed his diaper change. Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Disgusting, said Lily. Boys and girls, I'm wondering why is Lily being so feeling like this towards her brother and saying these things? She used to be so kind to him and so loving, right? I don't know. Let's keep reading to find out. Lily had to share her room with Julius. After Julius goes away, do I get my room back, she asked. Julius isn't going anywhere, said Lily's mother, and he didn't. He stayed and stayed and stayed. Lily was supposed to be very quiet while Julius slept. After Julius goes away, can I talk like a normal person again, she shouted. Julius isn't going anywhere, Lily's father, said Lily's father, and he didn't. He stayed and stayed. Wow, friends. Lily really doesn't want her brother there. I wonder why. What are you thinking? Do you have any thoughts about that? Let's keep reading. We want Julius to grow up to be as extraordinary as you, said Lily's mother. So we must tell him constantly how beautiful he is and how much we love him. When no one was looking, Lily had her own idea. So friends, remember I was telling you about the little words that Kevin Hanks puts in here? Well, Lily is saying, I hate you. You're ugly. So not nice. And up here, Julius's parents are telling him, we love you, Julius. You are beautiful, Julius. Okay, so friends, one of the things that I'm noticing, I'm noticing a character trait. How did I figure it out? Well, the author told me. Her parents said that she's extraordinary and being extraordinary is a really awesome trait. So her, friend, her, her parents are telling us that she has a, a characteristic of being extraordinary and they want Julius to be the same way. Let's keep reading. We want Julius to grow up to be as clever as you, said Lily's father. We must sing to him, his numbers and letters whenever possible. When no one was looking, Lily had her own idea. Three, eight, one, five, nine, six, A, J, K, Z, B, S, C, H. She sang the numbers and the letters out of place. Meanwhile, her parents are saying, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, friends. Lily seems like she is on a mission, my friends. Oh, and I noticed that her parents said that she's clever also, another characteristic. Let's keep reading. Lily's parents were more than a bit doubtful about leaving the two of them alone together. Lily tried to frighten Julius with her nifty disguises. She learned magic and tried to make him disappear. When that didn't work, she simply pretended that he didn't exist. Oh, that is so not nice, friends. Baby, what baby? I don't hear anything. So this is what she, what she said in the comments. Lily spent more time than usual in the uncooperative chair. So friends, as you can see, 
The uncooperative chair is like a time out that her parents give her. And while she's there, she writes, I hate everything. I'm hungry. I have to go to the bathroom. Wow. Let's keep reading, friends. Lily's parents showered her with hugs and kisses and treats of all shapes and sizes. They even let her stay up 15 minutes later every night. It didn't matter. Nothing worked. I am the queen, said Lily, and I hate Julius. But her parents loved him. They kissed his wet pink nose. They admired his small black eyes, and they stroked his sweet white fur. Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Disgusting, said Lily. So friends, I don't know if you're noticing, but I noticed this is something that Kevin Hanks does a lot. He repeats himself, and I like that. Okay, let's keep reading. Lily's parents were amused when Julius blew a bubble. Can you believe it, they exclaimed. But if Lily did the exact same thing, they said, Lily, Lily, let's mind our manners, please. Lily's parents were dazzled when Julius babbled and gurgled such a, vocab such a vocabulary, they exclaimed. But if Lily did the exact same thing, they'd say, Lily, act your, act, uh, act, Lily, let's act our age, please. Lily's parents were amazed when Julia screamed. What lung capacity, they exclaimed. But if Lily did the exact same thing, they said, Lily, let's restrain ourselves. So friends, I'm sort of noticing something here. I'm thinking that maybe, maybe, maybe Lily is feeling a little bit left out. Maybe she's feeling a little bit jealous of how, how much attention her parents give her brother? Let's keep reading. One morning, while Lily was busy playing opera, her mother said, why don't you put some of that verbal exuberance to good use? Why don't you tell Julius a nice story? He's too little to understand a story, said Lily. He can understand it in his own way, said Lily's mother. Okay, said Lily, smiling. Boys and girls, do you think she's gonna tell him a nice story? Let's see. Julius, the germ of the world, by me, said Lily. Once upon a time, said Lily, there was a baby. His name was Julius. Julius was really a germ. Julius was like dust under your bed. If he was a number, he would be a zero. If he were a food, he would be a raisin. Zero is nothing. A raisin tastes like dirt. The end, said Lily. The story earned her 10 minutes in the uncooperative chair. That was so not nice, friends. Let's keep reading. I don't know, friends. Are you seeing a lot of nice character traits about Lily? I don't think so. Let's keep reading. Let's hope that she has some. Well, so far, her parents did say that she was extraordinary. And they did say that she was, what did they say? That she was clever? I think they said that she was clever. Let's go back and see. Yep, they said that she was clever. So that's positive. Let's keep reading. Lily warned her friends, Chester and Wilson and Victor, about babies. Trust me, they're dreadful, she said. She warned strangers about babies, too. You will live to regret that bump under your dress, she said. Can you believe the nerve? Oh, my goodness. Lily ran away seven times in one morning. I'm really leaving this time, she called. Who knows where they'll find me? The same afternoon, Lily had a tea party, and everyone came but Julius. His invitation must have been lost in the mail, she explained. Lily had a glorious, Lily had glorious dreams about Julius and ghastly nightmares too. My goodness, friends. I don't see anything glorious about these dreams at all. Lily's parents show, showered her with compliments and praise and niceties of all shapes and sizes. They even let her drink juice out of the antique china cup and that it didn't matter, nothing worked. I am the queen, said Lily, and I hate Julius. But her parents loved him. They kissed his pink, they, they kissed his pink wet nose. They admired his small black eyes, and they stroked his sweet white fur. Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Disgusting, said Lily. While Lily's mother felt when Lily's mother felt up to it, she planned a festive celebration in honor of Julius. All the relatives came. 
they were quite they were quite a spread. What what's the big deal, said Lily? Haven't they seen a silly lump before? Apparently not. All afternoon the relatives hovered over Jules. They kissed his wet pink nose, they admired his small black eyes, and they stroked his sweet white fur. Disgusting, said Cousin Garland. What? said Lily. Julia said Cousin Garland. I think his wet pink nose is slimy. I think his black eyes are beady, and I think his sweet white fur is not so sleek. He needs his diaper changed. Lily's nose twitched, her eyes narrowed, her fur stood on end, and her tail quivered. You're talking about my brother, said Lily, and for your information, his nose is shiny, his eyes are sparkly, and his fur smells like perfume. Cousin Garland was speechless. He can blow bubbles, continued Lily. He can babble and gurgle, and he can scream better than anyone. Cousin Garland tried to slick out of the room. Stop, said Lily. I am the queen. Watch me closely. Well, friends, what a change of tune. Let's keep reading. Lily picked up Julius. She kissed his wet pink nose. She admired his small black eyes. She stroked his sweet white fur. Your turn, said Lily, handing Julius over to Cousin Garland. Kiss, admire, stroke, Lily commanded. Now repeat after me, said Lily. Julius is the baby of the world. Julius is the baby of the world, said Cousin Garland. Garland. Louder, said Lily. Julius is the baby of the world. Wow, friends, I'm noticing some more character traits about our friend, Lily. And from then on, he was. In, everyone in everyone's opinion, especially in, Lily, in Lily's. And in the comment right here, it says, we're almost twins. So friends, I hope you enjoyed reading this story. It really was a funny story, wasn't it? I was scratching my head for a while. Poor, poor Julius, poor baby Julius. But friends, let's get back to the business of learning about character traits. So while reading this story, I noticed that Lily had a lot of character traits. So let's take a look at them. Here we go. So, these are some of the character traits that I noticed about Lily. I noticed that Lily, she was very mean to her brother in the beginning of the story, wasn't she? She was also jealous. And she was jealous because her parents were giving him a lot of attention. Everything he did, they were like, ooh, and ah. But when she did certain things, they were like, Lily, at your age, Lily, behave yourself. <clears throat> so that made her feel a little bit of jealousy. Another thing I noticed is that she was clever. Her parents said that she was clever, so that's where I learned that from. And I also learned from her parents that she is extraordinary. And boys and girls, when we think about extraordinary, we think about someone that is above and beyond average, right? So she was like extraordinary. And so... We learned from the story that she was very uncooperative. That means she wasn't a good listener. She wasn't working. She was, she was working against what her parents were trying to do, right? Her parents wanted to make Julius feel special and loved. And she was being uncooperative. She was doing everything the opposite. So that's why she kept being put in the uncooperative chair. So boys and girls, that's one of her character traits. It identifies her personality. She's being very uncooperative. So another character trait that I noticed in the story was that Lily was being very rude. Lily was telling everybody that having a baby or, or that babies were so bad. And then remember when she saw that pregnant lady walking, she told the lady that you're going to live to regret that bump under your dress. Can you imagine that, my friends, was very rude. And she was also very rude to her parents. When they were telling her what she should do, she was doing the opposite. So she showed us that she was very rude, okay? And the last characteristic, boys and girls, that I noticed at the end of the story, my friend, Lily is a boss. She was telling her cousin Garland what to do. She was like, I am queen, do what I say. So I noticed that Lily has a bossiness about her. So she is a bossy characteristic. And the last, the last um, character trait that I noticed about Lily is that Lily was very protective. I was so surprised at the end. She stood up for her brother. She was like, oh no, you're not gonna talk about my brother like that. Maybe I can do it, but you, honey, no way. So she told her cousin Garland that her cousin Garland had to kiss his wet pink nose, had to stroke his white, his white sweet fur, 
And what else does she tell her cousin that he has to do? Oh, let's take a peek in the book. When we can't remember, friends, what do we do? We reread, okay? So let's go back and let's see what was it that she said. She said, she, she made her cousin kiss his wet pink nose, admire his black small eyes, and stroke his white sweet fur, right? So friends, I hope you really enjoyed reading this story with me and I want you to make sure you remember as you're reading your story, pay attention to the characteristics of your characters. Take a moment and jot them down, okay? And you know what, friends? I'm sure Lily has a whole bunch of other characteristics, but these characteristics are the ones that stood out to me, okay? I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.